Hey boys, welcome back to some more Dragons 2020 Korea. We had a uh, a very good win last week against the the high flying storm. So you know that that's brought us back into the uh, back into the frame of a uh, of a genuine top top eight team because we were we were I mean we were going okay, but it had been up and down, sort of reminiscent of Dragons of years gone by. They they start the season well. Then fall off badly as we look at the the Sharks lineup. It's uh, I mean you know a fully fit Sharks lineup. It's got a lot of talent. Um, as you see, Matt Dufty obviously he, <laughs> and uh, as you can see also Adam Clune. I don't know was Clune in last week or was Corey Norman still playing? Honestly, I can't remember. Typical, <laughs> but uh, yeah, Dufty was suspended last game, but he he uh, he, he somehow found the field so. That uh, that one week suspension was uh, was you know all good, and he was uh, he was a huge part in our our victory. So very very nice. But uh, yeah, hopefully against the Sharks here, a team. I mean, like I said at the start, like they're they're full of they're full of talent. Um, they can mix it with the best if they're if they're on form. But uh, probably a team you'd be hoping to beat this stage of the season if you if you're a genuine genuine contender so to speak so four tackle sharks are gonna kick early that's uh that's not the <laughs> that's not the greatest kick uh <laughs> he's kicked it two meters sideways into the arms of john Pereira. just 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 standing there that was that was quite the showing and then on the back of that ewan aiken through the gap gets past one gets the offload back to matt dufty swooping how did we not score Great work by you and Aiken to beat a couple of would-be tacklers. Maybe could have gone himself, but then on the back of that, just the pass gets knocked down. Magulius is gonna pick it up and let the Sharks out of out of a bit of trouble right there as the kick goes down again. Ravalara throws the ball into touch. That's uh, that's one of those ones. So what happened here? It's one of those ones where I went to pass it left. But I think the game, the game acted like I was still defending. So when I press left, the left trigger, left bumper to pass it, it it acted like I was still facing our goal line. So it passed to the left, um, into touch. Basically, it was the game. Basically, what I'm saying, it was the it was the damn game's fault. It wasn't my fault. <laughs> It wasn't my fault, dude. But uh, the Sharks had a chance on the back of that little little blunder. Bray, uh, Blake Braley looking to uh, sneak one from dummy half. Had no real options. He, only, he got pretty close, fifth and last. They've had plenty of chances right on our goal line here as Chad Townsend puts a little kick in. Not a good kick again. Tyson Frizzell swoops on it. Gets the pass. Tristan Saylor running downfield. Who is chasing? I think it's Johnson, maybe. Gets the kick back. Tyson Frizzell. Zach Lomax chasing. He almost gets there. Sean Johnson. Oh, my goodness. He's going to go the length of the field. Where did he come from? I think the guy I, I said originally, it wasn't Johnson. It was, I don't know who it was chasing, but he was going to round us up. So, uh, who was it? Pereira? Who put the kick in? No, it was Sailor. Sailor got through, put the kick in. And then, unfortunately, I... I got to Frizzell. Frizzell, I mean, quick for a big man. I don't think he was going to win the race. And Zach Lomax came from nowhere. If we could have selected him a little bit earlier, we might have got there. But Sean Johnson out of the clouds swoops. But then a beautiful kick. Oh, my goodness. Who was that? Tristan Saylor. What a couple of minutes. <laughs> that was that was a beautiful try. Tristan Saylor taking it to the line. Puts the little kick in behind Jordan Pereira. Always 100% attacking the footy and comes up with the goods. So we we didn't let uh, we didn't let that heartbreak uh, cruel us too much because I mean we we deserved the try. It was be it was beautiful play, but uh, Sean Johnson saved saved the Sharks a little 12, 12 point turnaround. Um, but then thankfully right here as we look at the replay it was uh it was great work usually these grubbers they're tough to sort of they're really tough to kick to another player but it worked well here sailor puts it in the sharks play is just holding off and just uh just from nowhere john Pereira just sneaks in behind sailor was there as well but john Pereira, it actually came, <laughs> it actually came off the knee of sailor i don't know if Pereira was maybe offside slightly but 
I don't know. We'll 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 take it. It was a it was a great try. So don't need to scrutinise it too much. Unfortunately, we tried a little early kick with Ben Hunt. Um, I think it was that man Sean Johnson again came up with a charge down, got the footy. So the Sharks go on the attack once again. We do give away a little a little tactical penalty right there. Um, you know you don't want to go in two points behind regardless, but. I think I think giving him the two points there is probably the right decision because you know defensively it's tough it's tough to defend your goal line like that and I would rather go down you know two points than than uh, let in a try it just the momentum is a is a huge factor and I feel like you know we've made some mistakes we made plenty of mistakes and we're still we're still well in this game as Matt Moylan almost uh, scoots through the middle, but uh, just coming back from the break here, it's going to be Johnson putting the kick across field. It's not a great kick. It's going to go on the arms of Pereira, and he uh, takes that one fairly comfortably. So just a bit of a, a feeling out stage in this uh, second stanza. It's Tyson Frizzell. He's had a big game. He's uh, he's had a big game. Tries to get the offload as the Sharks are back on the attack here. Andrew Fafita running out wide at the center. He's not the man you want to be seeing if you're a you're a half or a, or a center, honestly. But uh, round him up and then Goodwin tries to tries to sneak one. Um, and once again, we give the Sharks more possession. We just cannot, <laughs> we cannot get out of our own 20 meter line. We just keep turning it over. And the Sharks at the moment haven't broken us. But this time again, they try to sneak it out of dummy half. And Blake Braley is going to cross to make it 10 points. No, 12 points to six with that penalty goal. So now, you know, now we look at that penalty goal and it's, a, it's definitely an issue. But... I mean, at the end of the day, we're just not playing good enough. We just cannot, we can't, can't hold the footy. But uh, we finally get a chance here. 20 minutes to go. Beautiful hands down the blind side. Jordan Pereira gets tackled there by Matty Moylan. But uh, good chance to reload here. Tristan Saylor puts the kick in. Oh, it was almost brilliant. I think it was Frizzell again chasing through off the left boot. But Wade Graham, Wade Graham of all people was covering back. It was... Oh, honestly, it was, it was a good kick. I, I, I can't be disappointed with the with the play. Even the execution, I thought, was pretty spot on. It was just just desperation by the the shark skipper there to to stop the stop the footy. So yeah, disappointing. We would have loved to have scored that one because uh, yeah, we we really needed to. We're still you know we're still with it in chance. We've come back in uh, in some games, so there's still. There's still a, uh, a chance, but now it's uh, it's dead and buried. Andrew Fafita, I think he might have dropped it. <laughs> that would have been the the match sealer, but I think um, I don't know who made the tackle, but it was a it was a try saver. I can't uh, I can't dismiss the tackle. We'll look at the replay here because I didn't actually mean to skip over it. Who is it? Tarek Sims maybe? Cameron McInnes comes up. Ben Hunt, number nine. Does he get across? Benny Hunt? No, it's um. Matt Dufty. Matt Dufty came from, I think, Marker. Great effort by the fullback. He's he's played sensational uh, all year. He's been he's been one of our absolute shining lights, but uh, hasn't been able to get us out of trouble in this one. We just haven't had the we just haven't had the possession, and all the possession we have had, we've just gifted gifted back to the Sharks. So you can't win footy games like that, and this is a bit of a, a bit of a refresher, um, the last game we played exceptional, and then we, we backed it up with a, a poor one, so hopefully you guys are enjoying the series, make sure to like and comment, and I'll see you in the next one.